you have to be strong and live with it. Not cry about it. You have to be strong. 84 years after Lee Fruchtman escaped Nazi Germany, the pain is still raw, but her strength is still building. The Washington Heights resident just turned 101 last month, her mind as sharp as ever. She was born in Munich, Germany as Lisa Lutta Sundheimer, and her family watched in horror as Hitler rose to power. We went on the debate when they marched on our street. Heil Hitler. Lee's family was beyond fortunate to have relatives in America who were able to secure this affidavit to bring Lee over to the U.S. in 1937 when she was 17. She escaped the concentration camps but still left everything behind in Munich not knowing if she'd ever see her parents again. Very sad. Very sad. And on the border was sick for seven days. Her U.S. relatives were also able to get one of her sisters to the States and then eventually her parents right as the war was breaking out. She had another sister who escaped to France. So many of their Jewish friends and family members were murdered at the hands of the Nazis, a nightmare Lee's daughter Deborah said her mom had to learn to live with. She didn't, never looked back. She never felt, you know, why me? She never uh, pitied herself. She just... Uh, soldiered on and uh, it, it's very inspiring. In the States, Lee had many jobs. During the war, when her husband Max was fighting in Europe for the U.S. Army, Lee raised their first daughter alone. At the same time, she was leading a group of Jewish refugee women who made gloves to send to soldiers, which is documented in this 1942 newspaper article. She later worked long hours as a caterer for most of her career and then retired at the age of 89 as an employee of a kosher bakery here in Washington Heights. Only needing my arm for support, Lee can easily keep her stride with any New Yorker. So what's your secret to being in such good physical shape? Working. Working? And not sleeping. <laughs> not sleeping? You don't hear that. With her positive outlook and now with a vaccine in her arm, Lee feels she survived another battle, COVID-19. Lee has three children, five grandchildren, six great-grandchildren, and only more happy days ahead of her. In Washington Heights, Dana Arshin, Fox 5 News.